So now you're taken away by all this beauty and all this... And you've forgotten about something which is the most important and the most beautiful gift that the believers are given. Because everything's so beautiful. There's one hadith that says, the man, last man who enters paradise, he sees a light coming down from above and he thinks it's Allah. But it's actually his wife. Really? That's how beautiful you are. And then someone calls out to come to a gathering place. You all gather and you sit on, in different positions. Some people first class, second class. In fact, in the hadith it says that you look at the people of higher superiority like the way you see stars here because of their good actions. Everybody's sitting there and no one, no, there's no obstacles in front of you. Suddenly you hear someone and he says to you, my servants or my worshippers, are you pleased? And we say, oh, our Lord, we are pleased. And then Allah says, behold, no more, no, there, is, there will be pleasure from me upon you forever. And I will never ever be displeased with you. Is there anything that is missing that you still want? And we say, inshallah, oh our Lord, how could there be anything else when you have saved us from the fire and put us into Jannah? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is one more promise that I have yet to fulfill. I have not fulfilled it yet. And now is the time. So you're sitting with your spouses and with all the inhabitants of Jannah in one place. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala releases the veil. And you see Allah. You see Allah. Allah says in the Quran, <laughs> On that day, faces will be bright looking at their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibn al Qayyim says in his beautiful poem, but in English it doesn't sound nice. What he says is, he says, they look at their Lord and suddenly there is no more beautiful thing that they have ever laid their eyes on after what they have laid their eyes on already from the beauty of Jannah than the sight of the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you forget all the beauty that you have ever seen until this point. Allahu Akbar. And what could describe the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Nothing. Nothing.